Well guys, as you know, I like to do new things on my channel, and one of the things that I really would like to do is kind of start to give you guys an idea of what some of my all-time favorite films are. I don't have a particular list, I don't have a number one pick, a lot of people have asked me for that, but I do have a select group of films that I just adore, and I love talking about, and I of course love watching as well, and Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is one of them. Now two things happened to me recently that made me want to do a review for Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Number one, I watched it, and I was like, oh yeah, this movie is amazing. But the other thing that happened was that Michael Cera debuted this comedy network that he's involved with with some other stars like Sarah Silverman on YouTube. And I thought, what better way to tell you guys how I'm enjoying that than in a review for Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, which is one of my favorite films. Here's a brief little clip of his comedy network. It's called Jash. I left the annotation for you guys to go check that out because I've been digging it and I hope you guys like it. It has a lot of cool actors and stars in it. It's basically like sketch comedy. I left the annotation for you guys to go check that out if you would enjoy to. For me to really describe myself as a person, all I really have to do is say that this is one of my favorite films and you know a lot about me already. Scott Pilgrim is this loner kid. He's a dork. He's in a band. He plays bass and he meets this girl Ramona, played by Mary Elizabeth Weinstead. And he basically falls head over heels in love with her and he follows her around everywhere and they start hanging out. And eventually, he discovers that she has evil exes. Relationships she has previously had that want to kill Scott and they challenge him to mini duels. This movie is like anime and video games combined and when you do it right, can you honestly think of a better combination? <laughs> it's directed by Edgar Wright, and he made Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead, also two very good films. And as someone who really appreciates direction myself, that is something that I look for in my favorite films. How is the film directed? How is it paced? Edgar Wright has a way of using his stylish direction to enhance the story in such a cool way. Now if you don't know what the movie is about, it is based off of a manga, and this is one of the best examples of manga to film translations that I've seen. You can actually look at this film and it looks at times like a comic book, and it feels like a manga, it really does, and they did such a good job of recreating the panels that are actually in the manga in this film to a painstaking degree. I mean, there's even one scene in this movie that they actually reshot because the character wasn't wearing socks. And when they looked at the manga, the character was wearing socks. So they reshot the entire scene to make the character wear socks. That's how careful they were when they were making this movie. Isn't that awesome? The way Edgar Wright directed this movie was so stylish. The use of colors, the many hints of things with X's in the background you see throughout the movie. The way that the film's humor is crafted, it's all so well done and original. There really is no other film like this. Michael Sarah is Michael Sarah in this movie. I don't know if he's ever gonna break out of that I'm Michael Sarah and my voice is very quiet and I make funny little jokes quietly thing, but it works excellently in this film. He's so funny here, and his action scenes are actually really well done too. Yes, there's a large use of stunt doubles at times, but the scenes that he does are actually pretty impressive. The cast of this movie is so great. You got Jason Schwartzman in there as Gideon, and he's just loving every second of this movie. Chris Evans is also in this film as one of the evil exes. He plays this very over-the-top action star, and he was also just relishing this role. It really seemed like this film gave so many actors an opportunity to just go for a role and get really juicy into it and not seem as if it was too much. And I really like that about this movie because that's that style of manga and anime where everything is over the top. The eyes are always exaggerated. Everything in manga is exaggerated. And Edgar Wright and the filmmakers behind this movie really understood that because they took that exact same feel and style and translated it to film. Everything in this movie is big and exaggerated and over the top, but that's what it's like in manga as well. Also, the music in this movie is fantastic. There are excellent, excellent songs in this film, and the music plays just as big a part as the visual look of the film. It really adds something to the movie, and because they're in a band, and because sometimes they actually have to fight other people with their music, it's really cool. I mean, when do you ever see stuff like that? I'll never forget the first time I saw this movie in theaters and the Universal logo pops up and it was like Super NES style with MIDI music in the background. I knew that I was about to experience something special. And ever since then, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World has been one of my favorite films. It is extremely impressively directed. It has great fight scenes. It's actually really funny. It has great supporting characters like Kyrian Culkin as his roommate. I just, that guy is so great in this film. And it has this great nostalgic vibe of video games games translated with anime. It's an original film and I still have not seen a film like it. I strongly recommend it and it is one of my favorite movies. I'm gonna give Scott Pilgrim vs. the World an A+.
love. I like to do more reviews like this where I mention my favorite films and let you guys know some of my favorites. As I said, I don't have a list or an order of any kind. I just, I can't bring myself to do that. It's way too much thinking and it changes too often too. But I do have a group of favorites that I want to tell you guys more about them in the future. Thanks a lot as always for watching guys and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.